Alright guys, thanks for joining me today. We're going to slow things down and get in a full body stretch today. Standing up nice and tall, we're going to reach those hands overhead, slight back bend at the top. And then exhaling, folding forward, a little sway side to side. Really pushing the hips back here, trying to keep those legs as straight as you can. We're going to inhale, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, reach those hands up overhead. Nice big full body stretch here. And then exhaling, folding forward once more. We're going to heel tilt the feet out here. Nice wide stance, then shifting the weight over to that left ankle. Really pushing that right hip back, trying to keep the hips nice and square. Keeping the legs as straight as we can, we're going to walk our hands over to the right side. Same thing over here. Taking a nice big inhale and then exhaling, coming back to center. We're going to heel toe those feet in just a little bit. Dropping that tailbone down, lifting that chest up. Try and keep all the weight in the heels as we get nice and deep into those hips. We're going to drop that left hand down and open things up to the right, gazing up towards those right fingertips. Again, trying to keep the weight in the heels and keep that tailbone tucked down as low as you can. One more time here, open up nice and wide. And bring it back to center. Let's go the other way. Opening up through the chest. The last one, nice big inhale. And exhale back to center. We're going to make our way onto all fours, going into a little cat cow. So exhaling, rounding that back, scooping the belly chin to the chest. And then inhale as you arch that back, push the hips back and open up the gaze. Repeating this movement, working with your own breath. Doing what feels good for you today. Really pressing the ground away. Finding movement through that spine. Freestyling your cat cow however you wish. And making our way back into neutral spine. We're going to lift those hips up, press back now into our downward facing dog. Pedaling those feet out nice and slow, one at a time, getting a nice pull through the calves, through the hamstrings, taking some nice slow breaths. Shifting our weight forward, coming into either a cobra or an upward facing dog, and then gently pressing back into our child's pose, keeping those knees nice and wide, reaching the arms forward, just relaxing into this pose, letting those hips sink nice and low, letting that belly relax, let the jaw relax. And then gently walking the hands over to the left side of your mat, Feeling a nice pull through that right side body. And let's take it the other way. Walking over to the right side of your mat. Crossing those ankles, we're going to sit back, extending the legs right out in front of you. Bring those arms up overhead, sweeping forward. Nice hamstring stretch here, keeping the legs as straight as you can. Pulling those toes in towards you, drawing the chest towards the thighs. Just breathe in this position here. Sinking a little bit deeper into the stretch with every exhale. Awesome. Now sitting up nice and tall, we're going to roll back. 
flat on our back, keeping the left knee bent, we're going to cross that right ankle over the knee. And then just gently rocking that knee in and out, feeling movement through that right hip. Applying just a tiny bit of pressure with the hand. Don't force it here. Listen to your body. Do what feels right for you. Getting a little deeper now into this stretch, grabbing onto that left knee or maybe just the left thigh or maybe just gently lifting that left foot up off the ground. Find a position that works well for you and take some nice big deep breaths right into that right hip. Same thing on the other side, crossing that ankle over, just hinging at the hip here, pressing that knee away, in and out, nice and gentle. Now you can stay here or we can get a little deeper into that stretch by grabbing onto that thigh or the knee. I'm trying to keep the shoulder blades on the mat here. We're going to lift up into a bridge, clasping the hands together behind the back, really pushing the shoulder blades down, lifting the hips up as high as you can and getting a nice squeeze in the glutes. Pressing through the heels, take a nice big inhale through the chest, and then on your exhale, release the hands, slowly come down one vertebrae at a time until that lower back's flat on the floor. Hugging the knees into the chest here, give yourself a little love, gentle sway side to side, and then opening and closing those knees, getting into those hips one more time. Again, just applying a small amount of pressure with the hands. it. All right, it's time to roll like a ball here. Back and forth, giving that spine a little massage. Keep it nice and controlled. Keep that core engaged and keep breathing through this movement. And then we're going to make our way into plow pose. Now if this is something that you're not up for today, then just come onto your back and hug those knees into your chest. We're taking some nice big breaths, keeping the legs as straight as we can. And then very, very slowly and controlled coming all the way back down. That's it, making our way into a seated position here. We're gonna place the soles of the feet together, sitting up nice and tall, just gently Pressing the knees up and down. Listening to your body here. Maybe using those hands to lift you up a little bit higher. Maybe you wanna hold this pose. And then if it feels okay, you can grab onto those toes and gently roll yourself forward. Just kind of scooping out the belly drawing the forehead towards the toes. Letting gravity pull the knees down. Coming into a cross-legged position now, we're gonna drop that left elbow to the ground, bringing that right arm up and over, really reaching those right fingertips. And then up and over the other way, that left hip tries to pop up, make sure you press it down into the ground. Feel a nice stretch through that left side. And back up, sitting up nice and tall, 
leaning back slightly, we're gonna cross the right ankle over the left knee. And then sitting up as tall as you can. Getting in some nice, good hip stretches today, guys. Awesome, let's do the same thing on the other side, sitting up nice and tall, letting that knee drop to the side. flip on over here slowly lowering ourselves down to the ground and then pressing up into a cobra feeling a nice release in that lower back and all the way back down and then inhale lifting up pressing the palms lift the chest great let's do that again inhale lift up open up the chest coming up a little bit higher each time and exhale slowly come on down we're gonna press back into that down dog one more time here and slowly walk our hands in towards the feet finding yourself in a forward fold maybe holding on to the elbows adding a gentle sway maybe rocking the head yes and no just enjoying this position and then slowly coming up Letting the head be the last thing to rise. A couple nice big shoulder shrugs. That's it, you guys. I hope you feel amazing. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you at the next workout.